Today we're reading My Friend Earth with permission from Chronicle Books. This book is full of living things and the different seasons. This reminds me of a painting in the galleries. Let's take a look. This is Still Life and Terracotta Vase by Dutch artist Jan Van Os. This is a still life painting or a painting of objects. Flowers fill the canvas. Let's see how many different ones we can find. Rose, peony, iris, carnation, and many more. But the artist has included more than flowers. Look, a butterfly. And tucked under the flowers, a nest with tiny eggs. I wonder if the bird's parents are nearby. Here's the mother sparrow, keeping an eye on the nest from above. And wait, what's this? A fly! The artist painted it in such detail, I thought it had landed on the painting. This painting is certainly a buzz with life. Now, on to the story. My Friend Earth, written by Patricia McLaughlin, illustrated by Francesca Sana. My friend Earth wakes from a winter nap. She hears the busy spring sounds, the farmer's hoe tap tapping in the garden, the call of crows. She sees the little, the silent seed, the spider spinning silver, the robin and the wrens. And the large, the long-winged albatross crossing the sea, the mole tunneling in the underdark. She guides the chimpanzee to her night nest and the zebra baby to find his mother in the hundreds of black and white striped mothers. She tends the prairie where sun-dappled wild horses run through grasses that swish against their legs. The tundra where the reindeer graze for moss and the glistening ice where the young polar bear pads on mittened feet. She guards all the creatures in the oceans, the black manta rays sleek like shadows, the shining parrotfish, the tiny krill who swim with millions of other krill to look big, and the whales who are big. My friend Earth pours the summer rain to fill streams, flowing down mountains, through the fields, to the rivers, to the sea. Sometimes she pours too much rain, flooding towns and meadows and roads until she dries the land. Sometimes she blows fierce autumn winds, sweeping the limbs of trees and shingles from the roofs of barns, until she stills the wind, so red and orange and yellow leaves float to the ground. When cold comes again, my friend Earth sprinkles the snow, whisper silent covering the dens where the baby black bears are born in soft darkness, drifting over the icy pond where the turtle sleeps in mud, settling into the empty nests of birds. Under the white, the silent seed is cradled in the dark soil, watching. waiting. 
to fly up again in the warm, bright sun of spring. After the story, we make something inspired by what we've seen and heard. Let's make our own flower still life. For this project, you'll need some old magazines, scraps of colored paper, scissors, glue stick, markers, and a large piece of paper. Cut pictures from magazines and shapes from the colored paper. Sketch a vase on your paper and start adding flowers. Play with arranging the paper pieces, then glue them down. Use markers to add some tiny creatures to your artwork. Thanks for joining me. See you next time.